Recently, I replaced my incandescent bulbs with LEDs. A few of my bulbs were burnt out and needed replacing. Go ahead and grab some dielectric grease and a Phillips screwdriver. Unscrew the two screws that hold in the corner light. And pull the housing out. The large plug has a retention clip on it. To press and rotate to pull it out, the small plug simply turns counterclockwise. Do the same for the other side. For the back, you will need to open the doors to get access to the screws. Unhook the tail lights and do the same to the other side. Two of the plugs have retention clips like the front. The two smaller plugs twist out. Remove the rear bulbs by depressing and twisting counterclockwise. If they are stuck, be careful, you could break the glass. The running lights just pull straight out. The front lights pull straight out as well. Now that these incandescents are out, let's go ahead and find some replacements. For the front turn signals, these are uh, amber 3157 bulbs. Make sure to get turn signal specific lights for this application. The side markers and running lights are simple 194 bulbs. 194s come in a wide variety. Some are CAN bus enabled and some are not. More on that later. The backup lights are 1156 bulbs. They only have one circuit, so most options should work. What you do want to avoid are bulbs with large overhanging lips. They will probably not seat all the way in the socket. The turn signal and brake lights for the back are 1157 bulbs. Apply dielectric grease to the inside of all of the bulb sockets. Install the bulbs by pressing down and twisting them to lock them into place. The 194 bulbs just push in. You have to remember LEDs are typically polarity sensitive, so we're going to function check these lights before they go back into the housings. If any are not working, go ahead and flip them around. I had a little trouble with the brake lights. I had to clean some old grease out of the socket in order to get these seated right. Install the plugs into the light housings and install the housings back on the van. You might have noticed the lights are all blinking pretty fast. 
LEDs have a very low electrical load, so we're going to have to do something about that. Under the dash, go ahead and pull the fuse cover down. To the left of these fuses, there are three relays. The top relay is the flasher. Push up on the clip that holds it into place and pull it out. This thermal turn signal flasher is load dependent. We can fix our fast flash issue with a logic relay. You should be able to use any of the three pin ISO 280 LED relays available. Push the relay into the socket and put the fuse cover back on. Your lights should now flash normally. It turns out that my Astro has CAN bus lights, which I did not know. So I ended up swapping the amber corner lights with the white CAN bus enabled bulbs. This got the alternating flash when the headlights were on back. While I was here, I swapped out a few interior bulbs as well. Most of the interior bulbs are 578s. There should be one on the footsteps for each door. Use a plastic tool to pull them from the sockets. Push the new LEDs into place and function check. The dome light is the same. I uh, skipped the map lights for now. Now let's take a look at the old incandescent lights. and the LEDs. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button if this content was helpful to you. I am making more Astro content coming soon. If there is anything you would like to see, go ahead and leave a comment below.